jump scaring me this time. Alright. Well, well, well. Here we are again. Hello everyone, Ed Runner Gaming HD, and welcome to another Let's Play of NASCAR. Skip the intro here, enough of that. And let's get right to where we left off from the last video. If I remember correctly, we're racing at Michigan in this video at the very start. I'm in a sweet spot, I'm feeling good. The sun is shining, I knew it would. I like the this song. I'm in the clouds, let me show you what it's all about. Check it out. I'm gonna write it up. I'm gonna. This, go this game's got some pretty damn good music in it. Not gonna lie. But we're not here to listen to the music. We're here to race. So let's get to the next offer. Yep, I was right. Michigan. I need to get a top 18 finish for a payout of $25,000. If I win, I get $34,000. I don't think I'm going to win, but I need to get that top 18. So, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Let me show you what it's all about. Got Corbin Forrester, number five truck there. I always loved Michigan International Speedway. Always have loved this track. What I used to love doing league racing here. When I had my league way back in the day, I used to love coming to this track doing league races. I had so much fun here. I actually won a league race at Michigan. It wasn't my own league. It was someone's league that I was in. I'm not going to say their name, but I was in their league at the time, and I just so happened to somehow, some way, pull off a win at Michigan International Speedway. By a stroke of luck, I, I guess I pulled a checkered flag out of my ass, and I, I pulled it off somehow. And it remains the only win I've ever gotten at Michigan in league racing. I only won one time here. There were several other times I was finished third, fourth, or fifth, but that was the only time I ever actually won a race at Michigan. That was quite some time ago. That was back in 2016, I believe. Man, how time flies. It's been almost 10 years. <laughs> Well, nonetheless, let's see what happens here in this race. I need to qualify. So let's see how I do at qualifying. Driving the number 83. Got the word Peck on it. Reminds me of Josh Peck from Breaking Josh. I haven't gone back to watch that show in a long time. Mostly because Drake Bell is a piece of shit, disgusting human being, and I just can't look at the show the same way ever again, knowing what he did. For those of you who are not aware, Drake Bell got busted for, um... Illegal activity with a child. I'm not gonna discuss it here. This is not the place to discuss it. All I'm going to say is that he did some very disgusting things. He got locked up. He served his time. And I hope he burns in hell for all eternity for what he did. I don't want to hear any sympathy for him. I don't want to hear anything that comes out of his pie hole. I don't even care if he tries to come out and, you know, prove that other people in Hollywood are a certain P word, I don't care. Dude, even if you try to, to even if you try to do that, 
you serve your time at a you know what and I finish while well, I qualified 29th that's all I'm gonna say about Drake I'm not gonna wish him well because what he did was disgusting and I have no sympathy for human beings that do that type of shit I don't care that he served his time that he's out fuck him Josh I'm cool with him I I'm cool with Josh I respect the fact that he lost all that weight like he used to be big back in the day and he he slimmed down and he's actually packing on some muscle so credit where credit is due to him last I heard about him is that um he starred in a new in a remake of Turner and Hooch. I have not seen the remake. I don't know if I want to, and I don't mean that as any disrespect to him, but modern day Hollywood. Uh I, I don't know. I I'll always love the Tom Hanks Turner and uh the Turner and Hooch, excuse me. I'll always love that one. But the remake, haven't seen it, kind of scared to. Nonetheless, let's get to the actual race here at Michigan. I need a top 18. Top 18. Okay, I got nine laps of fuel, and there's six laps here. Alright, three wide. Careful. On the bottom. Going through the middle here. High lane. Right behind Mr. Young here. Still on the high side. Passing Corbin Forrester here. Well, trying to. We got Nemechek back here. Joe Nemechek, I believe. Yeah, Joe Nemechek. Damn. Alright, I'm catching up to 21st here. Not bad so far. Like I said, I love racing at Michigan. When I'm not messing up, that is. I love this freaking track. I'll always love this track. You can run this track wide open without even touching the fucking brake. That's just what I'm doing here. I'm just riding, baby. Not even touching the damn brake. Unless I have to. Just ride, baby. Not Russell Wilson ride. Not that kind of ride. Broncos country. Let's ride. Not that kind of ride. No, thank you. Or should I say Steeler Nation, let's weld. Oh, Pittsburgh Steeler fans. I feel sorry for you. Holy crap, I feel sorry for that guy that just fucking wrecked himself there. Holy shit! I'm glad I avoided that. I'm behind Ross Chastain here. Can I make it a three wide? Yes, I can! Don't go below that line. I, I will spin out if I go below that line. Alright, I'm in 17th. Alright, the further up I get, the harder and harder it's going to get. Because I'm getting up to the very best in the sport. So it's going to start getting really fucking hard. On the high side, all by myself, getting 
Kravitz Waffle? Holy shit, Kravitz Waffle. Damn, that's a name I haven't heard in a long while. I wonder what happened to him. One minute he's in NASCAR, next minute, poof, gone. I wonder what happened to the guy. I do keep up with NASCAR every now and again, nowadays. I used to not really keep up with it all that much, but ever since they announced they're going back to North Wilkesboro, I have been slowly getting back into the sport. Slowly. I did see the 3Y, I almost wrecked myself there. I did see the 3Y photo finish at Atlanta. That was fucking insanity. One of the closest finishes in NASCAR history. Absolute insane fucking finish. I'll put a link down below in the description box for a video of that finish. You have to see it to believe it. It was literally 0 0.003, three one thousandths of a second. Basically a front bumper is how close it was. Absolute insane finish. And I'll, I'll be honest, you know, when I saw that, because everyone was talking about it, it was unavoidable. Everyone all over the sports world was talking about it. I mean, it was a hot thing for about a week. When I saw it, I said, holy shit. Maybe I should get back into NASCAR again. Just, but slowly, just ease back into the sport, basically. And that's why I'm playing NASCAR Heat 2 here. I'm trying to ease back into the sport just a little bit. Plus, I've always wondered what would happen if I were to actually play NASCAR on the channel. So, here we are. I'm behind Chase Briscoe here. I always loved that paint scheme of his. I've always loved that paint scheme of his in this game. It looks really freaking cool. And he was a rookie in this game, too. This is years before he put that, um, well, did, not put, but he did that legendary move at Martinsville. I saw that, too. I saw that video game move he did. He basically went into, um, I believe turn two. He went into turn two at Martinsville and just fucking gassed it. Rode the outside wall and actually got himself into the final four by doing that. Fucking insane. Sanity. But he got in. He didn't win the championship. I, I know that for a fact. I don't think he... I don't think he won the championship. But he got into the final four. Absolute insanity. I saw that. I saw... I saw the finish at Atlanta. I didn't see the Daytona 500, though. That one actually surprised me. I didn't see that one. I don't know who the hell won that. I should look it up um, after I get done with this. Who won the 2024 Daytona 500? I honestly don't know. And also, where the hell did Kyle Busch get in the 8 car? What the fuck? This dude's racing for... Um... Ah, shit. Uh, RCR. He's racing for RCR in the 8 car. The same number that Dale Jr. used to race in 20 years ago. What the fuck? And apparently he's still the same Kyle Busch as always, just in a different manufacturer and a different car number. And he doesn't have M&Ms anymore, which, that sucks. If there was one redeeming quality about Kyle Busch, I liked his paint scene. I, I love the M&M's, I love the Snickers, I love the Skittles car, and those are gone now. M&M's left the sport. That sucks. Because that was my favorite thing about Kyle Busch, was his paint scene. I don't give a fuck about Kyle Busch, the driver, but I will say his paint scene on his car, most of his paint scenes were pretty badass.
By the way, if you were to ask me who's my all-time favorite NASCAR driver, Jeff Gordon. Second favorite, Dale Earnhardt Sr. Old school favorite from like way back in the day, from me watching old school stuff way back in the day. Obviously Richard Petty, Kale Yarborough, Bobby Allison, Davey Allison, God rest his soul. Um, David Pearson. Fireball Roberts. Like, I'm going way back in time. Yeah, I used to be a die-hard, die-hard, die-hard NASCAR fan back in the day, man. There was a time period where I eat, sleep, shit NASCAR. Like, if I missed even a single second of NASCAR back in the day, I would get pissed the fuck off. Where I used to be with professional wrestling when I was a kid, that transitioned into NASCAR when I got older. Like, late 2000s, early 2010s, NASCAR, fucking loved the hell out of it. It wasn't perfect, but I loved it. And I especially loved the Winston Cup era of NASCAR. Even though I was very young and I have very few memories of it, I did see the Winston Cup era of NASCAR, and that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of freaking fun. Alright, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to take a risk here. I'm in fourth. Holy shit. Can I get a top five or a top ten? They want a top 18. I might give them a damn top ten. There's ten laps to go here. I need to get to the bottom. I need to get to the bottom. Okay. Sorry about that, Bell. Got eight laps of fuel. And there's nine laps to go. I'm not going to make it on gas. I'm going to have to pit. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. No. Catching up the self here. I'm in an underfunded truck, so I'm going to be a lot slower than the leaders up here. It's going to come down to fuel mileage here at the end. I might fuck it up and ac accidentally not get the top 18. It would be pretty cool if I could get a top 10, though. That would be really damn cool. I don't think I've got a top 10 yet in this game in career mode. I don't think I'm going to get it, though. There, that guy goes for 10th. Snyder. Matt Snyder. Five laps of fuel, and I got six laps to go. I'm not going to make it on gas. 
It's going to be a fuel mileage race here unless a caution comes out. Matt Crafton right behind me. Oh, shit. Okay, leaders are pitting. I'm pitting next time. Bye. Oh, shit. I hit the wall. Okay. Okay. Actually, one can of fuel. One can of fuel. No tires, one can of fuel. I'm gonna Lightning McQueen this shit. Come on. Alright, 7.6, good. Oh, something's telling me I'm not gonna get it though. Damn it! <sighs> of course, just my fucking luck. I'm not gonna get it now. I did not need a fucking caution. I did not need a damn caution. Oh, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. That's gonna cost me the top 18. That's gonna cost me the, yep. It's gonna cost me the top 18, I fucking knew it. Thanks a fucking lot, game. Thanks a fucking lot. Oh, that's just fucking lovely. Thanks NASCAR Heat 2, thanks DMI. Re really fucking appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Really fucking appreciate it. And I'm losing the fucking pack. gonna finish last. Great. Lovely. Well, not exactly last place, but 27th. And they wanted the top 18. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Caution fucked me up. I love this track, but that caution fucked me over. 27th. 27. Fuck you.
Fuck you, game. Fuck you. On fucking real. On freaking real. Fucking DMI and their late ass fucking caution. No, I got you a top 30. Bristol. Oh, boy. Did I get the hot seat offer for Bristol? Nope. Okay. It's been cool to race at Bristol. Who won? Cody. Good for him. Chevrolet Silverado 250. I cannot see what track that is. Do I have an offer? No offer. Oh, well. All right, Christopher Bell won. Good for him. All right. Offer received. All right. We could use your help driving the number 50 truck at Chicagoland. Okay. Get a top 50. Oh, God. That's even harder than the last challenge I just did. But I do love Chicagoland Speedway. Alright. I'll give it my best shot. Can't make any promises. And by the way, NASCAR stopped racing at Chicagoland. So, no more NASCAR in Chicago. I'm gonna miss this track. They stopped racing at Kentucky. They stopped racing at Auto Club. I am aware of that. They stopped racing at Auto Club, Chicago, and they stopped racing at Kentucky years ago. The two tracks I'm gonna miss the most, this one and Auto Club. Kentucky, yeah. Personally, I was okay with Kentucky, but if I had to choose between those three, if I could only choose two, excuse me, if I could only choose two tracks, Auto Club and Chicagoland. Uh, I was just talking about Travis Quaffle, and I'm racing in his truck this week. <laughs> I'll try to get you a top 15, sir, but I can't make any promises. I'm probably going to get a really bad qualifying spot. Let's just see what I get. If I get last, oh well. Twenty-fifth, okay. Not dead last. Top twenty-five. They need a top 15. I'll try my damage. Free flag. Good old Chicago. Alright, 11 laps of fuel. Three wide. Up there. 
High thigh right behind Joe Nemechek here. Go on the high side. And I got put into the wall by old man Joe. back here right behind that Noah yep Noah Gregson I had to lay off the gas there so I didn't hit the wall Christopher Bell? Oh, no, TJ Bell. Okay. Catching up to Cody uh, Coughlin. I'm terribly sorry if I mispronounced that name. I'm in 16th. If the race ended in stage one, I would get it. Most likely. though. Not bad. I'm in the top 15. I am going to pit. I need to work my way to the bottom. Green flag. Alright, seven laps to go. I got 11 laps of fuel.
right. careful. Got it for now. Alright, catching up the Ross Chastain here. I get 12. Holy crap, yes I can. All right. 12. Now comes the most hardest part of the race. Fuel mileage. Oh, boy. The fuel mileage game. There are 22 laps. I'm going to pit here. I'm in 12. I need a top 15. I got 12 laps of fuel. And there's way more than 12 laps to go, so I'm gonna have to pit again. There's 19 laps. Fucking self, man! buddy.
right? Chase Briscoe. Somebody in the wall up here. I was trying to get to the bottom there, but 52 cut me off. Stewart cut me off there. battling this guy right now. This is a hell of a battle. battle. Okay, he cleared me, finally. Just for me to go right back to the high side again. Okay, I'm pitting this time. two tires. I'll go with a can. Actually, 1.5. Please, no fucking caution. That will really fuck me over. That will really fuck me over if a caution comes out. Dude, if a caution comes out right now, I'm just not gonna give a shit anymore.
Never go Cobb all the way up here in the top five. Holy crap. And there they go to pit. Seven, damn. Eight laps to go. Oh, I got plenty of fuel. I just hope this guy back here don't fucking wreck me. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh my god, me doing that put me all the way back here. I shouldn't have fucking did that. I shouldn't have fucking did that. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, dude. Damn. I was doing so fucking good. There goes my fucking race. There goes my fucking race. Nope. Not a top 15. 19. <sighs> I thought I should take a risk with... I, I thought I should take a risk and maybe pit and get a little bit of gas. And I should be fine. And that put me all the way in the fucking back. I shouldn't have fucking did it. I just said, fuck it, if I run out of gas, I run out of gas. Back-to-back -back challenges failed. This one was a little bit better, though. Not gonna lie. It was a bit better, but they wanted a top 15. That's what happens when you play this game on the hardest difficulty, an underfunded fucking team. Thanks, Brad Keselowski. Thanks a lot. Now that the season's over, it's time to take a look at your contract and sign with a team for next year. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess I'll end this video here by picking a contract. Got four teams available. Alright. Got the number 52. Three stars. Okay, I need to... I like this song, but I need to focus here. Okay, we got three stars that pays out $5,000 per race. 
Then we have a custom. Alright, five thousand dollars per race. Uh three star speed. Got the number forty-five here, three stars, five thousand dollars. Alright, number sixty-eight. Alright, three stars. Ooh, seventy-five hundred dollars. In the O2 truck, and it's a four star speed. You know what? I'm gonna take the risk for all that speed. Or, hold on. I kind of like the paint theme on this uh, truck, though. You know what? I'll sacrifice the speed for a cool-looking paint theme. I'll get this. All right, confirmed season one NASCAR Camping World Truck Series contract. Newly formed Deep Motorsports, owned by Al Neese, will look to run between 12 to 15 select races during the 2017 Camping World Truck Series season. The team plans to place multiple drivers behind the wheel of the number 45 Chevrolet Silverado. You got my approval, and I am signed. And I got a trophy, so it begins. Alright. Well, next video... I'm going to be starting Season 1 of NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode. I'm on an official team now, driving the number 45. Let's see what happens in my first season. I'm a rookie. So I'm going to be contending for Rookie of the Year in the Truck Series. Wish me luck. But you'll have to wait until next week to find out what happens. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Edge Runner Gaming HD signing out. Peace. Stay safe and have a great rest of the day or night. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a single goal done in this video, but the second race, I got a way better finish than I did the first race. So, I'll take it. And I got me a contract with the team now. So, let's see what happens in the future. Edge Runner Gaming HD signing out. I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cover. But now you're gonna leave with nothing but a sign. Another evening I'll be sitting reading in. So